Hello friends, in this video we will go to see what is reactance, resistance and impedance and what is the difference between reactance, resistance and impedance. First let's see what is reactance. Reactance is a property that opposes a change in current and is found in both inductors and capacitors. Reactance is nothing but we know inductors and capacitors are current sensitive elements which means inductor opposes the sudden change of current and capacitor opposes the sudden change of voltages if we apply suddenly a current then a, re a reactance present in both the inductors and capacitors that's why if we, uh, if we suddenly change the currents or voltages then it's not in steady state it is in transient state that is nothing but the reactance reactance is nothing but the opposing property of a current of inductor and capacitor that is written here reactance is a property that opposes a change in current and is found in both inductors and capacitors here reactance is only present in inductors and capacitors let's see this point it only affect changing current reactance is a specific to ac power and depends on the frequency of the current okay let's see here if consider this is the ac current alternative current and this is the dc current if we apply the dc current to the inductor and capacitor dc current means there is no fluctuations it is a ac current alternative current it is a dc current if we apply dc current this is direct current if we apply DC current to the inductor and capacitor, there is no change in inductance and capacitance values. There is no reactance because in this current there is no fluctuations. If fluctuations are there, then current is changes from one point to another point. Then only the reactance is present in inductance and capacitance. If we apply direct current to inductor and capacitor, then there is no reactance. If we apply direct current, then reactance equal to zero. Remember that point. Uh, when we apply alternative current this is our point alternative current means ac when we apply ac to inductor and capacitors then a reactance will occur reactance is nothing but opposing opposing property of a sudden change of current here observe here current is one value and when falls to this current is one value like that okay i think you have understand next uh, I already told you reactances are two types one is inductive reactance another one is capacitive reactance first see inductive reactance inductive reactance is directly proportional to the frequency of current here observe this is a AC current it is have some frequency according to Indian a, Indian currents AC currents have 50 hedges frequency okay that is have that's nothing but this AC current have some frequency that is 50 hedges. This 50 hedges frequency is directly proportional to the reactance in the case of inductive reactance. Okay. Inductive reactance is directly proportional to the frequency of the current. If the, our frequency increases, then inductive reactance also increases. If the frequency decreases, then the inductive, inductive current, inductive reactance also decreases. This is the graph between the reactance it is inductive reactance inductive reactance it is the graph between the inductive reactance and the frequency if the frequency increases inductive reactance also increases gradually okay here one more point is there reactance is always denoted by x remember reactance is always denoted by x here in case of inductive reactance uh, put prefix as a not a prefix suffix as a L XL is nothing but inductive reactance here see XL equal to 2 pi FL 2 pi F is here inductive reactance is nothing but XL equal to 2 pi FL F is the frequency of the current L is the inductance this is the formula for finding the inductive reactance next see capacitive reactance here see capacitive reactance capacitive reactance is inversely proportional to the frequency of a current 
in case of inductive reactance inductive reactance is directly proportional to the frequency of a current in case of capacitive reactance capacitive reactance is inversely proportional to the frequency of a current let's see the graph between the reactance and the frequency in capacitor here observe frequency is increasing but reactance is decreasing when frequency increasing reactance decreasing this is about capacitive reactance capacitive reactance is denoted by the xc and capacitive reactance is calculated by using the formula xc is equal to 1 by 2 pi fc f is nothing but the frequency of the current c is nothing but the capacitance of the capacitor this is capacity this is about reactance next c resistance here c resistance resistance is nothing but the opposing nature of a current okay here see the definition for resistance resistance is the measure of the opposition to current flow in an electrical circuit resistance is a measured in ohms this is nothing but if we have a resistor in our circuit then the then this resistance is opposed by the applied current if I apply current I to this resistor then uh, the this resistance value is opposed by the current if the resistance value is more suppose this resistance value in terms of mega ohms mega ohms then the current uh, I think uh, almost zero current flowing through this branch because this resistance is opposed to the applied current uh, how to find the resistance resistance means R is equal to V into I V is nothing but voltage across the resistor I is nothing but current passing through the resistor okay this is about resistance next C impedance 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 is denoted by the letter Z letter Z impedance is the combination of reactance and resistance in previous paper we see reactance and here we have resistance the combination of both reactance and resistance is nothing but the impedance impedance also the units of impedance is also a ohms okay this is about reactance resistance and impedance thank you thank you for watching this video